Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of CNC Productions. And today we are going to be drawing the Tyrannosaur Alio Ramus. This was a um, Tyrannosaur that was discovered in Mongolia. And we're going to be drawing it, but before we do, we're going to learn a little bit about the Alio Ramus. Um, the Asian Tyrannosaur and Alio Ramus is poorly known and only from the jawbones, part of the skull, and some foot bones. Its name derives from the fact that this dinosaur um, which means different branch um, because it was slightly different than the other tyrannosaurs. Um, it was lightly built and well adapted to chasing prey over open landscapes. Um, the only specimen of Alio Ramus found consisted of a partial skull and some foot bones found in Mongolia. The long rugged snout of Alio Ramus is distinctive. A ridge down the nose shows six prominent bumps that may be horn cones two by side with four in a single row in front of them. The long jaws have many teeth. Actually, they have 18 in the front of each lower jaw alone. So, um, this Tyrannosaur had more teeth than any of the other big Tyrannosaurs discovered. Its eyes were also very large and well adapted for hunting. And it was about 20 feet long. Alright, and now that we've learned a little bit about the Alliaramus, now you can get to drawing. Alright, so first you're going to want to draw the head. And the head was long. So, also not as thick as the head of Tyrannosaurus Rex. Next you draw the neck, and you branch out to the body. Um, it also had the classic um, two fingered hands of Tyrannosaurus Rex, or Tyrannosaurus in general. Okay, next you draw the body. Draw the body out if you need to. Okay. You can, if you want to, make it look like it's walking or running. This one is more walking. Okay, and next, draw the tail, which is the easiest part to draw. Just a simple straight line out. Alright, and there's your basic outline for the Alia Ramus. Next, you get into the finer details. Now, actually, this head is more of a uh, Spinosaur head, so I'm going to get them revised a little bit. a little bit more of a Tyrannosaur shaped head. And then the mouth. Alright, then you can you can draw the uh, fenestrae, which is with the name for the openings in the skulls of the theropods. There's one in the middle of the snout and right behind its eye. Draw the nostril. I like to draw a large scale right there. Next is the interesting part of Alia Ramus and the part that made it slightly or a different branch are the large bumps and you can draw them any way you want to, small or large on its skull then you draw the spines which you, um, on this uh, on most drawings I'll draw the spikes, you know, large um, just because it makes it look cooler but since Ali Ramus has fossils of spikes on its snout, you're going to make, wanna make you're going to want them to be more of more, stand out more. So you can just take the s spikes on the back and make them smaller or thinner, spaced out more, or whatever. But um, that way, the uh, the bumps on the nose don't look like the spikes that you just added to the drawing. You know, just for effect. Okay, and then you make. Muscles, musculature, other small detail. All right. Okay. 
keep doing that along the hands. And even though they were tiny, the arms had muscles in them as well. Alrighty, and just continue with the small detail. If you're going to add detail in your drawing, then add it, because it'll make it look much better. All right, and there you go. There's your fleshed out L.A. Ramis. And next, we're going to start coloring All right, the color scheme for this L.A. Ramis will be orange, brown, black, light chestnut brown, and yellow, as well as red. But you don't need red for much. This is what you need red for. For the eyes, and that's optional, you can really draw your eye color however you want. And I would suggest drawing red for the fenestrae, because they were probably see-through to, to a point, like thin, thin skin, and it probably had a lot of blood vessels going through them, so you might want to draw them red. That's also optional, because I don't know what color Alio Ramos was, and neither does anyone else. So you're free to do whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to draw some real quick last details on the horns at the top. Okay. Now. Now here's the color scheme. And this is um, a little bit complicated, but it looks awesome whenever it's fully completed. So, draw stripes. Draw a thin stripe going from front and behind its eye. Let's draw... Right. Also, you can draw a thin stripe running all the way down the neck. There's a lot of black stripes, so just bear with me as I draw the rest of them. Okay, as I said before, there's a lot of black in this drawing, but as you can already see, looks pretty darn cool, <laughs> but um, like I said, this is a little bit more complicated, but no one said you had to draw like this, because we don't know what colors dinosaurs were, so you're free to do whatever the heck you want. Okay, next you take the orange, and you fill in, at least here on the head, fill it in with orange. Alright, well it's orange in the front half, in the head and neck. And next, you're going to want to make it the chestnut brown. And fill in the stripes with that. So, just light chestnut brown. Alright, and, and next, you take the brown and fill in the, um, the tail with brown. Um, now, the last and final step is to take the chestnut brown and go lightly across the top. Then take the yellow and add another layer of that. And if you want to, you can draw some final spots to fill it out.
there it is. The rest of it you leave white. Now the color scheme may be a little bit challenging, but it looks awesome as a finished product. And there we go. There's your finished. Alio Ramus Remotus. Now you can draw your Alio Ramus any way that you want to. This is just a suggestion. Um, if you guys have any other suggestions for um, dinosaur how to draw videos, then go ahead and leave them in the comments box and I will do a video for them. Um, if you enjoy the video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.